Administration Employees. A list of all active employees is presented on this page. Changes made when modifying or deactivating employees take effect upon their next login. Changes made to your own profile take effect immediately. All employees have access to my time, my expenses, and my tasks. Check marks in the task manager, reports, and administration columns indicate the sections an employee has access to. Clicking an employee's name from within the listing will allow you to view and edit all of their existing timesheets. At all times, at least one administrator will have access to the administration section. By default, the person who created the Hourglass account is the primary administrator and they get full access privileges. Another person can be named primary administrator at any time and receive full access privileges. If a new primary administrator is selected, their predecessor's access privileges can then be reduced. Adding an employee. To add an employee, click Add, the blue button in the top right corner of the employees listing page. The subsequent page presents a form that may be filled in to create a new employee. Enter the desired information you would like to set for the employee into the text fields and select their preferences in the drop down lists. Select the areas that the new employee will have access to in the administrative sections of Hourglass by checking one or more of the checkboxes presented in the Access Privileges section. If you do not wish to give administrative or managerial access to this employee, do not check any of the boxes. Specify the new employee's location, department, and preferences. Select a page to be their default login landing page, which will direct the employee to that section every time they log in. Select a default work code for the type of work this employee will routinely perform. If an employee is granted access to Task Manager, you can enable completed task alerts and or delinquent user alerts. Enabling completed task alerts will notify this employee when others have completed their tasks. Delinquent user alerts will notify this employee when others leave timesheets blank during the work week. You may specify the employee hourly costs corresponding to the amount the employee is paid per hour. The first time this entry is made, it will apply retroactively to all employee data. If this cost is altered, it will apply from the moment it is modified until it is changed again. Give the employee a rate corresponding to the position he or she was given. The default rate is applied to timesheet entries and can be given exceptions on a per project basis using the employee rate exception system. See the hourglass video on administrating projects for more information. Projects can also be billed by work code instead of by consultant rate. When billing by work code, the employee work code multiplier is the value that will be multiplied by the work code's base hourly rate to determine billings. When you have completed the employee form, click Submit to save your entries. Thanks for watching. Check out more Hourglass videos at youtube.com slash hourglass tutorials.